Hello, Taurus. It's time for your highest self reading. We're gonna get some messages for your highest self today. This is for Taurus and it's for the next week or so. Don't take it too seriously. The world's hard enough and we want you to have a good time. Taurus, hello to my Taurus team out there. If you're watching, thank you very much for your support. I hope this day finds you well. We wanna know what the highest self has to say to Taurus. And you all survived the eclipse. Good job, good job. I know some signs had it more rough than others. And I think, I believe I read that your sign is one of those signs. Okay, this is for Taurus, highest self messages for Taurus for the next week or so. Today is November 8th, 2023. However, whenever this resonates for you is when it resonates for you. St. Michael, please protect Taurus, Virgin Mother. Please intercede on Taurus's behalf. Let's shifty. They said that was a shifty cut. Yeah, Queen of Swords reversed. You're upset about something here because you didn't get a good like you didn't. They didn't shake fair. Um, they they went back on their word. They. Uh, missed you like miss me with that they they I think this has more to do with business than anything but um if this is the message from your highest self you know queen of swords reversed I, I think it has to do with business and and when to protect yourself to use this anger that I think you're accumulating um from the treatment that you've received or not received it seems like somebody didn't pay you for something or that you uh, they said that you would they would be there and you're a very punctual person and then they weren't there or that your boss is jerking you around or maybe you made a, uh, a deal with your kids or your spouse that they said they would do this thing and then they didn't do it. Whatever it is, someone didn't deliver. That's what I feel like here. So they have that take your anger message and filter it into something better here. Vulnerability. And they want you to filter that into vulnerability, going up to that person. And I know it's not your style, Taurus, but maybe having a little conflict, okay? Because conflict brings resolution. A resolution makes us uh, better people. Resolution makes us closer. It bonds us instead of attaches. So if you're just next to somebody versus you know, pulling on strings to grasp at somebody. If you're leaning into it and you guys are just next to each other in space, I think that's how this feels. Is that like you have, you don't have a parking lot, you know, like your body can only handle so many close friends. Um, and so you're actually good to release anybody who's not holding up their end of the bargain. But with love, um, don't take that stubbornness to a level of incompatibility that, you know, it can really come back. So let's just see here. Judgment. Yeah, they're going to come back. They're going to, you know, this might be just a light apology, Taurus. This might be, a, I, I didn't say we're going to have a knockdown drag out fight. We're going to lose friends over it. I didn't say that. I'm not really big, uh, I'm not really big into cancel culture or, or cutting off, cut off game, be strong, and all this mean stuff. It's hard enough out there, okay? Things are tough all over, and we are just driving through it, aren't we? I think we're doing a great job. The fact that you got up today, took a shower, went to work, and did your regular day is already really, really good. Really, really, really good. And if you didn't do that... I hope that you're going towards something that you love and you're working out um, these things for yourself because other people are going to notice. Now, I just got the urge to shuffle. So I'm going to check out what's on the bottom of the deck here. Knight of Swords, Five of Wands, something about you don't like to get in a fight because you don't like to say you're sorry. Um, and this person is too clingy and codependent. You don't, maybe they're, maybe they rejected you or you rejected them, but they come back. Yeah, this is a love offer that's not fair. And you've been waiting around, waiting for your offer. You might even be like, 
where's my so-and-so? You know, like, where's my engagement ring? Where is my Tuesday night? Where is my, you know, whatever they promised, okay? Could be in love. All right, so the highest self says, and for me, judgment is more judgment call. It's not a reconciliation necessarily. It's an offer, an attempt for a reconciliation. And that's why you see her kind of agonizing there, but also clear-minded and then picking the best thing for her. See, she's suffering and agonizing over it, but then she comes out as a trophy holder here and you can see that the, the <laughs> what's her name? From He-Man? Um, the sorceress? She, <laughs> she um, helps her make the decision and, and calls the final action. So, I see. Let's see. Page of Wands reverse. You're not playing around this time. You're not playing around this time, Taurus. World reverse. They don't, they're not somebody that you can change, okay? So I feel like you're doing a good job of holding your ground and respecting what you said, you know? I said what I said. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not playing around here. I'm not trying to flirt with you. I'm not trying to offer you anything. I don't see you showing up. I don't see you changing or growing. I shouldn't say change because that's internal, right? The only people that can change are people who have the will to, right? Willpower. But, and 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 fate changes you as well. You know, if, if you don't change, then God's going to do it for you. So I think that that will be your approach here. Gentle approach. God will do it for you and remove the things in your life that are not meant for you. Um, you can remove them yourselves, okay? They want you to know you can take gentle direction. It doesn't have to be a huge fight to change it yourself. No, oh, you'd rather be silent. I see. You're happier that <laughs> there's the sun. <laughs> oh. Well, first of all, I kind of feel this weighted by their... Uh, they are completely... In a way, in some way, not they're not unaware that you're upset with them. They're unaware at their actions having consequences. Like, they've never received a punishment before in their life. And they've never had anything taken away from them. And, you know, I doubt that that's a never story. But it just seems like this person is very entitled and you're not having it. And that's what your highest self can do for right now is be gentle, um, do not offer if they're not learning, and you may have to, you know, do this, like, use silence as a um, teacher, and you be happy and they be happy, okay? Like, you just keep moving, they just keep it moving, and, you know, you'll, you'll have that be a treasure or a treat or a win. Okay, um, let's see what, how many minutes, eight minutes. Okay, let's do a couple more messages here from the highest self. We have the five of cups, the page of swords reversed, the queen of pentacles, there you are, Taurus, the two of wands reversed, the two of cups, the six of swords, and the four of cups reversed. I'm going to deprogram my mind to not dread the four of cups reverse and it used to be because uh i believe i was in some kind of agonizing situation where i kept pulling that card and i didn't understand it reversed like i couldn't interpret that and now i just look at it at, because i didn't understand the energy of the card because i had not never done that before um this is the energy of we're, we're looking at the four of cups reversed this is the energy of very quietly and, it, and it's it has to do with the top row of what i just pulled very quietly saying I, you know i'm just not even going to i think no opinion and uh, no matter no amount of voicing is going to make this okay so i'm just going to stay at home and do things for myself um and and mind my business you know mind my own business and i think what that does for you is um I think that that makes you um, peaceful. 
Now, I see you feeling bummed about this. Like, it, I, I'm, I'm, go I'm going from the Queen of Swords reverse to the Five of Cups. It would help if I had the, on the camera, huh? So, yeah, I mean, look at it. I was covering her heart, but she's got that pendant over her heart. Oh, no, she doesn't. It's a shadow of her shirt, but they want you to wear a pendant over your heart, a, a red or pink, um, to kind of help dissipate this feeling inside of you without talking about it, the, 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 the holding in. They don't want you to hold it in. They don't want you to harbor it. They want you to release it, let it melt through your, through your chakras out of your roots, okay? This is a thick energy. It's like blood or syrup. There's there's something about it that's very um, painful to you, and and I think that this has got to do with a, a childhood trauma, because I I did mention that that four of cups reversed. Um, I remember drawing that during a traumatic episode in in my my thirties, so. It could be recent trauma. It could be like recent formation of this fear. Um, and then page of swords reversed, you going within on top of the seven of wands reversed, um, you going within to kind of like, it's like, how could I be more vulnerable? Now, some of you could say that as like, sarcastic like how could I even be more vulnerable and then some of you might say it like you know let me look for ways to you know release this energy let it let it process and then I can um and then I can say more without saying anything I think that, that this is about using silence as a uh, a communication tool a lot of times in music even the rests make the music more important the rests bring tension and resolution and make your ears uh wonder you know and sometimes may, may, making people wonder leads to curiosity and that helps solve resolution like that helps solve problems without having even to talk because the, the curiosity helps them learn Wow, I'm learning a lot from your reading, Taurus. This is very deep, very nice stuff. And actually, that's that's the message here. Uh, that 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 um, passive, in a good way, like constructive passivity, um, is taking care of yourself. Is self care. It's self care because then, you know, if you're not playing around, like you're not you you you're taking. It's like um. You're not punishing somebody. You're taking away your... If you take away you, you know that that's punishment enough. Like, if you're not going to talk or offer any kind of thoughts or anything, then that you understand that having you around, you're just your being there is a delight, right? And so, like, that is a gift. And, and we each need to do that for ourselves, right? So you are, your energy and attention is a gift. And you're not going to, you're, you're, you're expressing your disappointment. You're kind of like my favorite mom in, in grade school, you know, when we would go to church and she'd look at you like, mm. you know, but she didn't, she wasn't going to harm you like the nuns. Uh, yeah. I was raised by a couple nuns, but they were really mean and they wouldn't let you go to the bathroom. You know, I showed them though. One day I threw up everywhere in church because I had to go to the bathroom I said I don't feel good right I guess that's my trauma from when I was a kid but I think I'm over it now I think I'm pretty good on getting to the bathroom uh I did I did realize that I would get claustrophobic in uh large gatherings where I thought well I felt like I couldn't leave so just so you know that about me when you take me to a concert or something um church is definitely a trigger point for that anyways hi Taurus okay so we have two of cups here over the world reverse. Now what I show is that this is just a chapter in, in a relationship dynamic. Now it could be your love relationship. It could be a work friendship. Um, it could be uh, an acquaintance. There is an equal amount of give and take here between the two ships passing in the night, they said. So you might be doing some emailing after work. You might be um, 
running an errand for your friend still you know like this is still solid love behind this um highest self message that you're getting the six of swords over the eight of wands reverse totally i mean i don't know if you read tarot but that that's pretty obvious they're giving me they're giving me softballs here i love this today thanks spirit uh the six of swords over the eight of wands reverse i would say that you just really need a little break you need that rest i'm here i'm seeing the the symbols of sheet music for for the rest symbols and i love that and they said um well be careful because i'm getting the i wish i could draw it for you actually if i can let me yes i do have paper and pencil here let me get that for you this is going to be kind of funny because there's like um oh i just dropped all my cards there's like um something like it's like this i i don't know it's like a it's like that rest symbol in music I, I didn't hold it up there very long and it's um how do i say it it's a quarter rest i think i i don't remember um cheap music i used to know it but i don't know how to um write that hi my head's in the camera okay I don't edit my videos and you shouldn't steal my content. Oh. Okay. So, what I did show about that symbol is it has like a, a belly. We're falling apart, folks. We're falling apart. Okay, we're good now. Sorry. I need to make sure I have every, all the cards. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, that symbol is like a belly, you know? So, like... They're, they have you resting and um, eating. <laughs> of course they have you eating. Three of Pentacles popped out. We'll see what that's about. But I still, Four of Cups Reverse makes you happy. Net, Netflix and chill, babes. I show you really taking a back seat and relaxing. Any other higher message, higher self messages? We'll get one more row for you. Highest self messages for Taurus. Highest self messages for Taurus. I'm hearing that they want me to use another deck because they have some of the cards um, already on the board that they need them again. So I'm going to use a different deck here for your third row. So like we need that. I bet it's the Queen of Pentacles. We'll see. We need that Queen of Pentacles, Grace. Okay. We need that Sun, Grace. Okay. We can have the Sun twice in your reading. That'd be sweet. You're very happy though like there's something about you taurus that loves winter uh provide a comment if you love winter you know if you're like i actually i actually really like because it cuddling up um not worrying about so much cleaning you know just hibernation you know snuggling up to a loved one watching movies eating good food i don't hopefully occasionally getting out for a walk you know Something like that. Keep your body, your blood moving. Okay. Okay. I'm really connecting to my Chiron in Taurus. Yeah, my little wounded warriors and <laughs> one of the more difficult signs. If you don't take care of yourself, you get, oof, you get hit hard. Okay. Let's see a higher self message for Taurus. Last highest self message for Taurus. Two more shuffles. Last highest self messages for Taurus. Saint Michael, please protect Taurus. Virgin Mother, please intercede on Taurus's behalf. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Five of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Cups. Queen of Wands reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Strength. Nine of Wands. Six of Worlds reversed. This feels like their energy. Whoever's in this with you or whoever's not in it with you. Um, this feels like their energy. They're just really going through something. Um, so, you know, you, you, you can, you can let, this could be so, so far as to say like you, you let them go entirely as a friend. Or it could just be that you're, 
you're just letting them be them for now um, without offering your opinion or making it worse. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. You, you don't like um, feeling so lonely and isolated when you get angry about something because you know that you have to go through that grief process uh, to be ready to come out. Maybe you might be an introvert, you know, like they, you're not ready because you're going through a grief process so that, so now you have to process that to be able to come out of it. So Queen of Swords reversed, Five of Cups, the Five of Worlds reversed. I think that that is the acceptance of the grief cycle where that's the last step, you know, uh, acceptance. And actually ad advocate is even better uh, answer to grief process, right? Um, but I think that you're at an acceptance level. You're like, okay, I was mad, then I got sad. Now that, so that's kind of melting down like a wax on a candle and it's, it's out, it's over. It's over. Eight of Cups, I'm, I'm leaving behind um, this like self-contemplation mode of like how to be vulnerable. Uh, should I be vulnerable? I'm leaving that behind. I don't need to sit in that. I, I want better things than like for me to think about. There's I have better things to think about than if I should be mad at somebody, right? And then I think this is them, the Queen of Wands reverse under the Queen of Pentacles and the um, Judgment card because I feel like their ego got knocked into submission um, with the power of love. You used your your wiles, your feminine Aphrodite Venus now in Libra. Ooh, so good, so good, so good. I think that you made yourself unavailable to them, you know, and, and that that's a big punishment. That in itself, we have to remember. Just being unavailable for a little while is like you needing time and space because you're in one body. Okay. When we stop setting the, the, the fences, you know, when we stop setting up our fences or borders, we uh, accept anything. Just any old thing. If you come through my fence, I'm going to know that you're there. Okay. And if you get fair enough in, there will be consequences. We have laws to protect ourselves. So set up your fences. Um, don't set up walls, just fences. Leave a picket door, you know, like maybe, maybe take that anger, that sadness, put a fence around it. Whatever makes you angry, that storyline, put a fence around it. Replay the story, put a fence around it, and then let it kind of get washed away by the rain. You know, three of cups reversed on top of the um, two of wands reverse and page of wands reverse. Yeah, I mean, they add, it's like they asked you to go out. Maybe your person asked you out on a date. Maybe they were like, hey, want to talk for coffee? You said, actually, I'm good. I'm going to stay home and make dinner for me. Thanks, though. Thanks. Anyways, so we have the strength card on top of the two of cups and the world. I mean, I still see you standing strong by this person. You love them, even though they did you wrong. You love them. I also see like business. I also see that pillar of strength that like you're holding up the joint, you know, and you know it, you know it. You might be a solid person, meaning like bodybuilder or um, I'm getting, you know, I got, got that like curve on the, on the rest symbol. I know, I know y'all love food. It, it's like the big tourist joke, but that's actually true. Like the, <laughs> there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of, you know, people that say, oh, Gemini is this and Scorpio that and Capricorn this and Leo that. And it's like, okay, I mean, not, we're speaking to someone on a lower vibration level or not, that's not ascended yet to uh, self-aware. And so I feel like for you, you're definitely self-aware, but there's something about you that realizes that this person is not. And so I see a lot of patience coming from you, actually. That that's a really really nice energy of, you could be stubborn. You could you could have gotten your way. You did it, Taurus. I'm really proud of you because that is another thing about what I just said. Oh, Tauruses are always stubborn. No, they're not. They actually mean well because they're like, I'm just not going to give you anything because fill in the blank. Um, you did wrong. And when Taurus is actually in the right, then that energy is very well managed. Now that's what I'm seeing in this reading. Okay. I also see here on the nine of wands, you're pretty tired of this. Like you, you got to take a break, you know, maybe, um, 
you're not going to lose sleep over this kind of thing and you need to heal rest and relax from whatever the situation is seems like it's really bothering you but they're a little bit oblivious to it and they're not sorry six of worlds reverse they're not sorry i think that they you're you're putting it out to god that they will feel the way they need to feel enough to maybe potentially inspire them to change um there has been a little bit of that energy in the air of just like oh you wronged me well i'm not going to tell you how i i'm not going to tell you about it because i'm going to process the grief on my own because i love me and i have time and space for that and then i'm going to wait for it like spirit's going to send what you like spirit will handle this spirit will handle this i have faith so this is a really really cool reading for you you have faith taurus to handle this situation whatever it is it could be in love could be in work could be in a friendship uh, any kind of relationship or, or even a you know um parent child older younger doesn't matter i think that what you're learning here is um to reserve your energy for you and also that that teaches in the moment without that teaches everybody i learned a lot from this reading how to be more gentle uh, without having to use harsh words and without ghosting or cut off game strong you know like you did it with with um grace and dignity and i think that those two things are very feminine qualities um and so you're, you're a feminine sign and venus in, is inspiring so hopefully this helps i do think that you know what let's ask let's ask a question for ego's sake let's ask a question we're gonna throw it in there this is my ego deck it's the coolest looking one so most people choose this deck <laughs> But this is for rising signs, egos. I love ego, by the way. Like, actually, ego is awesome. You guys have a real, guys and girls, you have a real hesitation to love that word. And it's like, dude, ego got me so far. And like, I love resting on what I've created. You know, like, a lot of my, a lot of my creation is character witness to, you know, eight years I spent on myself, like working on myself. And some people just blossom slower in, in different settings. But here we are doing readings for you after 17, 18 years of reading, seven professionally. Let's do it. You know, like I'm still here. I'm still standing. Okay, so they want us to... Taurus, you help me get here. A lot of I have a lot of Taurus healers. Um, they want us to know, or we want to... Inquiring minds would like to know, Spirit, if you're willing to share. Um, will this person become inspired? Um, I know we're questioning the process, but this is just for those. And, and, and Taurus, if you know better, you turn the video off right now. Okay? And you turn around. This is just a double attempt to understand. A little nosy attempt to understand if they're going to learn their lesson. If this is all worth it for you. Or maybe some future adjustments need to be made and maybe we need to learn when to verbalize. Let's see. St. Michael, please protect us, Virgin Mother. Please intercede on our behalf. Did they learn their lesson? Let's just flip three cards. Did Will they learn their lesson? Let's just say that. Hierophant, you might be married to this person. Yeah, they will. They're going to they're gonna come out of it. They, they, just, they just sweep things under the rug and you kind of know about it. There's that Queen of Swords reverse uh, on the bottom of the deck. So that you know about this process you've already dealt with this process many many times this does feel like a marriage even um but they, they or maybe like a best friend from when you were little but they they definitely are family to you and um i think that you have space for them but you you just know how much time and space to take your highest self knows okay so these are the messages for your highest self don't resort to pettiness to anger to stubbornness please don't use conversations that are harmful use silence as a teacher and this has been a public service announcement from tarot demore check me out at tarotdemore.com if you'd like a reading they are half price until i feel my schedule is full up of readings so check me out i'm not really available this weekend too much but i might be able to squeeze you in um taurus you are amazing fantastic thank you so much have a great day